Welcome to our deep dive on quantum computing and um, Google's groundbreaking Willow chip. It almost seems like science fiction, but Willow is real and its potential is astounding. Yeah. To really get a grasp on how revolutionary Willow is, I think we need to understand how quantum computing differs from the computers that we use every single day. Our everyday computers use bits, which can be a zero or a one, like a light switch that's on or off. Quantum computers use qubits. Qubits are where things get really fascinating. A qubit, instead of being limited to zero or one, can be in a state of superposition. This means it can be both zero and one simultaneously. That concept's really difficult to grasp, but it is fundamental to quantum mechanics. Willow's power, I think, is pretty evident in Google's claim that it can solve a problem in just five minutes. That would take a conventional supercomputer 10 septillion years. This leap in computational power has even sparked debate about the existence of parallel universes or the multiverse. We will explore this a bit later in the show. Let's dive into what makes Willow so special. What sets it apart from other quantum computers? Well, Willow boasts a significant breakthrough in error correction. Qubits are incredibly sensitive to their environment, and that leads to errors in calculations. Google implemented a really novel approach to error correction in Willow, which reduces error rates exponentially as the system scales up. So the larger the quantum computer, the better it becomes at correcting its own errors. That's incredible. Exactly. Google tested Willow with different Qubit array sizes. They arranged these in grids of 3x3, 5x5, and 7x7. And each time they added more Qubits, the error rates decreased dramatically by a factor of two. So this means that Willow is below the threshold. Instead of becoming more error prone as it grows, it becomes more reliable. Precisely. This achievement in error correction is a really significant step towards making quantum computing practical for real world applications. I think to fully grasp its potential, we need to understand a few key concepts, starting with Shor's algorithm. This algorithm was specifically designed for quantum computers. It can factor large numbers exponentially faster than any known classical algorithm. And this capability has major implications for encryption. Factoring large numbers is the foundation of many encryption methods that we use today to secure our digital world. If Willow can factor large numbers quickly using Shor's algorithm, does this mean that it can break our current encryption methods? That's a very serious concern that researchers are actively addressing. The possibility of breaking current encryption methods highlights just how powerful Willow is and the potential impact it could have on cybersecurity and privacy. Let's shift our focus to some of the potential real-world implications of a quantum computer like Willow. It seems like it could revolutionize numerous industries. Oh, the possibilities are vast. In medicine, Willow could accelerate drug discovery by simulating complex molecular interactions. This would enable scientists to design new drugs and therapies with remarkable precision. That could be groundbreaking for treating diseases like cancer or Alzheimer's. How could Willow impact other fields? Willow could transform the energy sector by aiding in the discovery of new materials. Imagine more efficient solar panels or better catalysts for clean energy production. It could also lead to breakthroughs in artificial intelligence by processing massive data sets and enhancing machine learning capabilities. Those are all very exciting prospects, but I also wonder about the potential downsides. Could there be unintended consequences of such a powerful technology? That's a very valid concern. As with any groundbreaking technology, we have to consider the potential negative impacts and ensure responsible development and use. One concern is the potential for job displacement. As artificial intelligence and quantum computing advance, they will automate tasks that are currently performed by humans. That's a very serious issue that we need to address proactively. What steps can we take to mitigate these potential negative impacts and ensure a smooth transition into this new technological era? Well, investing in education and retraining programs is absolutely crucial. We need to equip workers with the skills they need to thrive in a future where AI and quantum computing are commonplace. We also have to consider the ethical implications and establish guidelines for responsible use. It's clear that Willow represents a significant leap forward in quantum computing, but it also raises some really important questions about the future and how we navigate the potential benefits and risks of this powerful technology. Now let's delve into one of the most mind-boggling aspects of this discussion, the multiverse. The idea of parallel universes has captivated scientists and the public alike for decades, and Willow's capabilities have kind of 
reignited this debate about their existence. Yeah, it's a complex and fascinating concept. To understand the connection between Willow and the multiverse, we need to explore the different theories surrounding parallel universes and how Willow's computational power might support or challenge them. And this is where we dive into the truly mind-bending realm of quantum physics. So. Let's explore the multiverse and its potential implications, starting with some of the theories that attempt to explain this pretty extraordinary concept. One prominent theory is the many worlds interpretation. This interpretation suggests that every quantum measurement or decision creates a split in the universe. This results in a multitude of parallel universes, each representing a different outcome. It's mind-boggling to imagine countless versions of ourselves living out different possibilities in these parallel universes. How does Willow's power relate to this theory? Some physicists believe that Willow's ability to perform calculations deemed impossible for classical computers suggests it might be tapping into the computational power of these parallel universes. They argue that Willow could be distributing its calculations across these multiple realities. This would explain its incredible speed. So instead of performing calculations sequentially, Willow could be exploiting the parallelism inherent in the multiverse accessing the results from countless parallel computations simultaneously. That's a radical idea, but it does seem to align with the many worlds interpretation. Are there other theories that connect Willow's capabilities to the multiverse? Another theory is the pilot wave theory. This theory proposes that particles are guided by a hidden wave suggesting a deeper level of reality beyond what we can directly observe. Some proponents of this theory speculate that Willow might be interacting with this hidden wave, allowing it to access information and computational power beyond the confines of our observable universe. It's fascinating to consider that Willow's power might stem from tapping into a hidden reality that governs the behavior of particles at the quantum level. It's as if Willow is peering behind the curtain of our perceived reality and accessing a deeper, more fundamental layer of the universe. It's important to remember that these theories are highly speculative and still debated within the scientific community. The connection between Willow's capabilities and the multiverse remains an open question requiring further research and experimentation. However, the fact that Willow's power has reignited these discussions speaks volumes about its potential to reshape our understanding of the universe. Willow's emergence has certainly pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible in computing. Even if it doesn't prove the existence of the multiverse, it has undoubtedly opened up some very exciting avenues for scientific exploration. Let's shift our focus back to the practical applications of this groundbreaking technology. You mentioned earlier that Willow could revolutionize material science. Could you elaborate on how this might happen? Material scientists are constantly seeking new materials with specific properties tailored for various applications. This search involves complex simulations and calculations to understand how different elements interact at the atomic level. Willow's ability to simulate quantum systems with unmatched accuracy could revolutionize this process. So, Willow could accelerate the discovery of new materials by enabling scientists to simulate and test different combinations of elements virtually saving time and resources compared to traditional trial and error methods. Exactly. This could lead to the development of materials with properties we can only dream of today. Materials that are lighter, stronger, more efficient, or even possess entirely new functionalities. The potential applications span numerous industries, from aerospace and construction to electronics and medicine. Imagine aircraft constructed from super strong, lightweight materials, enabling more efficient and sustainable air travel or buildings that can withstand extreme weather conditions, improving safety and resilience. The possibilities seem endless. The impact on the energy sector could be equally transformative. Willow could aid in discovering new materials for highly efficient solar panels, leading to a significant boost in renewable energy production. It could also help design better catalysts for clean energy production, paving the way for a more sustainable future. These advancements could play a crucial role in mitigating climate change and transitioning to a cleaner energy economy. It's exciting to see how Willow's power could be harnessed to address some of humanity's most pressing challenges. Beyond material science and energy, Willow could also revolutionize financial modeling. The financial industry relies heavily on complex models to predict market trends, manage risk, and make investment decisions. These models often push the limits of classical computing, but Willow's computational power could dramatically improve their accuracy and efficiency. So we could potentially see more accurate market predictions, better risk assessments, and even the discovery of new investment strategies, all thanks to Willow's ability to process vast amounts of data and run complex simulations. 
The possibilities are vast. However, it's important to remember that with such transformative power comes significant responsibility. As quantum computing advances, we must carefully consider its potential impact on society, ensuring equitable access and responsible use. That's a crucial point. We need to ensure that the benefits of Willow and other quantum computers are distributed fairly, and that their development aligns with our ethical principles. Now let's turn our attention to one of the most sensitive applications of quantum computing. Its potential to break encryption. You touched on this earlier, but I'd like to explore it further. As we discussed earlier, much of our digital world relies on encryption to protect sensitive information, from financial transactions to national security secrets. The encryption algorithms we use today are generally considered secure against attacks from classical computers. However, quantum computers, particularly those capable of running Shor's algorithm, have the potential to break many of these algorithms. This raises serious concerns about cybersecurity, privacy, and even national security. Imagine a world where hackers could access sensitive government data, steal financial information, or disrupt critical infrastructure with ease. It's a sobering thought. The potential threat posed by quantum computers to our current encryption methods is driving intensive research and development efforts to create new quantum-resistant encryption algorithms. It's a race against time to develop these new encryption methods before quantum computers become powerful enough to exploit the vulnerabilities of our existing systems. It's a reminder that technological progress often creates new challenges that we must address proactively. That's the nature of innovation. As we push the boundaries of what's possible, we must also anticipate and mitigate the potential risks. The emergence of Willow and other quantum computers underscores the importance of staying ahead of the curve in cybersecurity and ensuring that our digital infrastructure remains secure. It's clear that Willow is not just a technological marvel, but a catalyst for a broader conversation about the future we want to create. It presents both immense possibilities and potential challenges, and it's up to us to navigate this new landscape thoughtfully and responsibly. We are entering a new era defined by the power of quantum computing. The choices we make today will shape the impact of this technology on society for generations to come. It's essential to engage in open dialogue, explore the ethical implications, and ensure that quantum computing is used for the benefit of humanity. Willow's journey from a theoretical concept to a groundbreaking reality is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a powerful reminder that we are capable of achieving extraordinary things when we push the boundaries of what we think is possible. However, as we embrace the transformative power of quantum computing, we must also proceed with caution, ensuring that it's used wisely and ethically to create a brighter future for all. As we venture further into the realm of quantum computing, we really have to confront the ethical dilemmas that accompany such transformative power. One pressing concern is the potential for bias in quantum algorithms. I can see how this could be an issue. Algorithms are trained on data, and if that data reflects existing societal biases, those biases could be amplified by the quantum algorithms. That's right. We could end up with quantum-powered systems that perpetuate discrimination based on race, gender, or socioeconomic status. We need to ensure that the data used to train these quantum algorithms is diverse and representative and carefully scrutinized to mitigate bias. That sounds like a really significant challenge to ensure fairness and equity in these complex systems. How do we address this? Transparency and accountability are going to be crucial. We need to develop methods for auditing quantum algorithms, making their decision-making processes understandable and open to scrutiny. This will help identify and rectify biases and promote fairness and prevent those unintended consequences. It's reassuring to know that researchers are actively working on solutions to address these potential biases. What other ethical challenges should we be aware of as quantum computing advances? Another concern is the potential impact on privacy and surveillance. Quantum computers' ability to break encryption could undermine our digital privacy in unprecedented ways. Imagine a world where governments or corporations could access our most sensitive data with ease, eroding our fundamental right to privacy. That's a chilling prospect. It highlights the need for robust legal frameworks and safeguards to protect individual privacy in the age of quantum computing. Absolutely. We need to update our laws and regulations to reflect the capabilities of quantum computers and ensure that our privacy rights are protected. This includes exploring new encryption methods that are resistant to quantum attacks, safeguarding our data from those prying eyes. It's a constant race to stay ahead of the technological curve and ensure that our security measures can keep pace with the advancements. What about the implications of quantum computing for warfare and national security? 
That's an area with some very significant ethical considerations. The development of quantum weapons, for instance, could have absolutely devastating consequences, potentially shifting that balance of power and escalating global conflicts. I can see how the precision and the power of quantum computers could be harnessed for military purposes, raising those concerns about autonomous weapon systems and the potential for unintended escalation. The international community really needs to engage in an open and honest dialogue about the ethical implications of quantum computing in the military domain. Establishing clear guidelines and treaties to prevent the development of destabilizing quantum weapons is absolutely crucial. It's a reminder that these technological advancements while often beneficial, can also have some unintended and potentially harmful consequences. It's our responsibility to guide the development and use of these technologies in a way that promotes peace and security and the well-being of humanity. Our deep dive into Google's Willow chip has illuminated not only the remarkable advancements in quantum computing, but also the very profound ethical considerations that accompany them. As we continue to unlock the potential of this revolutionary technology, we have to do so with a deep sense of responsibility, ensuring that its power is used for good and that its benefits are shared by absolutely everyone. It's been a very enlightening journey into the world of quantum computing. Willow is a testament to human ingenuity pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. But it's also a stark reminder that with great power comes great responsibility. As we enter this new era, let's proceed thoughtfully and ethically with the commitment to shaping a future where quantum computing empowers humanity and contributes to a better world for all.